kind of mix up the vlogmas videos and do sometimes I sound about vlogging, other times talk about things or issues, um, and today is one of those days. So um, Jack is watching Thomas the Tank and Sonny is sleeping, I've got to listen out for him. And I want to talk about an issue that is affecting us. So yeah, everyone has issues, right, as parents. Sometimes it's breastfeeding or colic or reflux or daytime naps or a difficult birth. I don't know, there's a multitude of issues. Um, ours is sleep. Um, so I'm going to talk about our journey because I want to document it for us to have and look back on. Also, just for anyone watching this that is having troubles with sleep or has advice or anything like that. So, um, right, where do I start? Everything was great. <laughs> In the beginning, everything was great. Is that sunny? Yeah, everything was great. I had a lovely birth. I was so happy with it. And he came out in the water. And I think that was sort of what started it because we were so relaxed. We then sort of slipped into co-sleeping together and it was so beautiful and lovely and we'd latch on in the night. It'd probably be up once or twice for a feed and so totally doable and lovely snuggles and just easy, okay? Just really easy and lovely and I felt great. And then we went away to America and Sunny slept. We were like, woohoo! Then Sunny hit like four and a half months and everything changed. And I know that this is a typical time for the sleep to really regress. He started waking up multiple times in the night. And by that I mean he'd sleep for about 45 minutes and then wake up. So it got really hard. It got really, really hard. I used to have to do what I'd call my box of tricks. So I'd do a breastfeed him, I would give him a dummy, I'd put on a ewe in the sheep. I'd hush him, I'd put him in the crib. It was literally like anything I could do to just get him back to sleep and get a tiny bit of respite myself to kind of be semi-sane the next morning is what I'd do. And it started to affect all of us, right? It started to affect Sam and he was feeling super tired at work. It was obviously affecting me. Um, interestingly, it wasn't really affecting Sunny. He's always been really happy in the daytime, even though he's not getting much sleep at night. So, where are we at now? We have started to make changes, okay? And I want to talk a little bit about those. Um, so what have we done? Okay, the first thing that we've done is I've stopped breastfeeding because I want to be able to give him maybe something I think is a bit more filling, which is formula. And I want Sam to be able to give him a bottle maybe late at night. We've also moved him out of the bed and out of the bedroom. So he's now in his own cot upstairs and um, that's going, I think, quite well. well. I don't know, maybe I just hear him cry a bit less, I don't know. Um, the other thing that's happened is, um, as of last night, I've actually stopped giving him milk in the night. So I'm now giving him water and doing a lot of gentle hushing and um, patting and standing with him, which leads me to the next thing, because through all of this, um, people were saying to us, you need a sleep coach, and Sam was keen on one, and so we did actually get in touch with one. We started working with a lady called Heidi from the parent and baby coach. And I guess what she's done is give us a little bit of rigor. So um, what I mean by that is she sent over a sleep plan after we had a whole telephone call about Sunny and his situation. And she's given me some kind of rough timings to look at and start to kind of think about because some of you may know I'm not good at routine, but making sure that Sunny sleeps and eats enough in the daytime, I'm sure is helping or will help his sleep. I guess it's just been good to have someone objective to be able to look at the situation and just give us some tips. And the other thing is, I thought that a sleep coach would equal someone saying to me, you've got to let him cry it out basically, which is an approach that I am not happy doing. I don't really think I'll ever be happy doing it. Um, it just doesn't feel right for me. Um, and Heidi has given me options. So yes, there is that option if I want, but she also has come up with something much more gentle, which is the path that I'm taking at the moment. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but that's sort of where we're at with it. We're moving forward. We're trying to make little changes and we'll see where it gets us. Tomorrow we'll be back probably doing something more traditional and vloggy and random. I'm gonna go and get dressed, still in my pajamas, obviously. Um, take yesterday's makeup off. This is my second cup of coffee. I probably should stop there. Although stopping breastfeeding is amazing in that I can now eat and drink whatever I like. Not that I was really watching before that carefully, but like now, last night on dinner, I was like, bring on the jalapenos. But yeah, thank you for watching. Have a lovely weekend and um, we'll be back tomorrow.